Hello everyone, I'm Luis Ciani. I'm a Senior Enterprise Solution Architect at AWS, specializing in Amazon Open Search Service. Today I'm here to share with you a powerful feature of Open Search that can enhance your data management capabilities, Index Rollups. Whether you are a technician, data science, analyst, or part of infrastructure or fine ops teams, this presentation will provide valuable insights into leverage index rollups for costing savings and performance improvement. So let's get started. Index rollups enables you to condense and consolidate vast quantities of information while retaining crucial measurements and aspects of them. This can help you save disk space, improve query performance, and facilitate data management. Let's talk about the key objectives and benefits of using index rollups. By reducing the size of your indices, index rollups can help you save your disk space costs, which can be significant for large data sets. Improved search time is another key benefit. With rollup data being personalized, queries can often be executed faster leading to a better performance for your application. Also can reduce operational costs by making data management more efficient and requiring fewer resources. Additionally, they can facilitate compliance and data retention by providing a streamlined way to manage and retain summarized data over long periods. Now, let's see how to configure and use index rollups on your open search environment. The first step is to create a rollup job, which involves defining the metrics and dimensions you want to capture, as well as the source data and rollup schedule. When defining the metrics and dimensions, you need to think of the ones that are important for your use case. For example, you might want to track the number of documents per day grouped by product type. You also need to set up a schedule when the rollup process should run such as daily at midnight. To better understand this process, let's go through a practical demonstration on how to set up and use index rollups. So let's get started. For this demo, I'm going to use a sample e-commerce index and I, we are going to create the rollup index from this index. Just showing the AWS console, here we navigate to Amazon Open Search Service and I can show that I have my cluster up and running. To work with Rollup Index, we are navigate to Open Search Dashboards and use the Open Search Dashboards. Upper left here, you have the main menu, navigate to Index Management, and navigate to Indices. You can see your indices. I'm going to work with this sample. You can see the details of it. To create your Rollup Index, Navigate to Rollup Jobs and click Create Rollup Jobs. For this demo, I'm going to name my job example. For instance, you have to choose the search index. It's where your data is. So I'm going to choose the Open Search Dashboard Sample Data. And for target, I'm going to name a new index. So I'm going to open search example rollup index. Click next. As we are considering time aggregation, we need to choose a field that is a time or data type field. For my source, I have the order date. Remember, you have to choose yours. For, for the interval type, I'm going to maintain one hour. And now we have to choose the additional aggregation metrics. Remember when I said that now you have to think of the use case that you have and choose the correct fields to do and work with aggregation. For this demo, I'm going to choose customer gender, day of week, city name, city region name, and for metrics, I'm going to put textless and total quantity. Here in metrics, you have to choose the 
types of aggregation you want to see. For the first option, I'm going to choose all, the second, next, and average. You click next. And now I'm going to leave everything by default here. But you, you can see that you may uh, define the frequency of execution as a clone type expression or a fixed interval. Click next. In this page, you can summarize and review all our options you've chosen. Click create. Here you can see that your drive has been created and it's enabled. I'm going to show you the tools to work with your indices and your jobs. So, to navigate to DevTools, you choose the main pages of OpenSearch dashboards. You have a shortcut here, but you can access by main menu, navigate until DevTools down there. So this is the DevTools you work with OpenSearch APIs to manage your clusters. So this is going to show my indices, and we are working with Open Search Dashboard Sample Data E-Commerce. It has almost 5,000 documents and 4 megabytes of size. So now I'm going to get our e-commerce index details. And I can beside the window and see the fields of my index source. As it's an e-commerce sample data, we have the common fields for an e-commerce. The customer, customer details, the details of the order ID, etc. and etc. So I can create our index rollup jobs from here also. So I, I put all the configuration here. This is the name that I'm going to to have for my new new index rollup job. All this the configuration of schedule, all the configuration of the the job, the search index, the target index. Uh, I'm going to name my target index open search example rollup. The date histogram. So I have the field, the term aggregation field here. I'm going to choose all the other fields that I may have aggregation feature and the metrics that I have my aggregation. So I will run this command so my job is created i can start the job from here also with this comment so now in background the job is running and the, we will create a new rollup index called open search example rollup if i want to check i can navigate from open search dashboards i can go to the menu index management rollup job I can see that I have a new job here. In a few minutes, we will have the new instances here. Open search example rollup. It's already being created. Going back to the tools, now I'm going to check that the data is already there. So I'm going to use the example rollup. That is the first index rollup that we've been created. And I'm going to do. Uh, typical search with aggregation and some fields to check my my data inside my index. So when I run, I can check that all the fields and all the attributes that I can search inside the rolled up index. So I can I'm going to run the same search against my search index now. We will have the same, the same results. So we can check that they are the same. We can copy all this information. I'm going to put here in my visual code, new file, paste, six, three hundred and seven lines. I'm going to run against my rolled up index again. I'm going to copy all the results, visual code new file paste 607 lines also we can check some visual here change the tabs and see that the results are the same for all the search we have so now i'm demonstrating that if you have chosen 
the correct attributes, the correct fields to do your aggregation. You have your rolled up index with the data that you have to work with your reports, your dashboards, and you may discard your raw data, of course, if you can. And if you can, discarding your raw data, you are going to save money and disk space. So the same search against the both index brings the same results to us. Now let's check our indices details. You can see that our original index has almost 5000 documents and 5 megabytes of size and the new the new rolled up index has fewer documents and less space of users. That concludes our practical demonstration of index rollups. As you can see, implementing this feature can lead to significant improvements in data storage, query performance, and overall operational efficiency. I encourage you to explore index rollups further and implement them in your open search environments. By doing so, you'll be able to unlock the full potential of your data, enhance your analytic capabilities, and drive better business outcomes. Thank you for joining me in this insightful session. I hope you find it valuable, and I look forward to seeing you to leverage the power of index rollups in your future projects. Until next time, keep exploring and optimizing. Bye.